Hey Capricorn, it's Teresa with One Love, One Light. Welcome to your message. Let's see what Spirit has for you. Holy Spirit, what do you have for Capricorn? I hope your birthday season went well. Holy Spirit, what do we have for Capricorn? And we have Replenish, number 31. So this looks like replenishing yourself emotionally, replenishing yourself with sleep, with healing, with rejuvenation. So let's go ahead and read what number 31 has to say. It is not possible to be happy or at your best all the time. Having depleted energy or off days is a natural part of everyday life. However, it is how you manage those times when you are energetically low that is important. It is imperative to take care of your emotional energy just as you take care of your physical well-being. This means addressing depression, fear, mood swings, anger, or feeling drained of energy. Have strategies for coping and replenishing yourself such as an exercise program. Identify ways of regrouping and gaining control of your energy. There are benefits to scheduling a day each month that is just for you. This day can be whatever you would like it to be. Sleep in, watch a favorite movie while enjoying a favorite treat. Make a dinner date with a friend or just catch up for a chat. Doing something that makes you feel good will help you revitalize your energy. When you are in a healing process, depression can be a challenge. Make sure you take steps to address depression early on. Talk to people people about how you're feeling and if you need help if you need get help organizing time for something you enjoy all right so i definitely feel like you need some me time and i feel like you need to make that a priority and i also feel like you have to allow um, others that want to support you and take care of you allow them that you can't always be the strong one here all right, what else do we have? And we have competition, some courage and self-confidence. So I feel like if you want to beat the competition, which I know you're always trying to stay ahead of the game here, um, you do need to replenish, rejuvenate, heal, rest. That's what I'm getting here. What else do we have? romantic feelings your feelings are real and worth exploring so i do feel like this replenish energy is talking about the possible healing of a relationship what else do we have retreat it's time to disconnect from the world and we get that here with replenish as well so let's see how this is playing out for you, Capricorn. And we have justice, getting balance, angel of integrity. I do feel like this is about um, integrity, but also getting into balance as far as work-life balance and making things that are priority to you. Um, like giving the giving it the time that it deserves that's what i'm getting here what else do we have we have the three of cups celebration so i do feel like with the celebration card it's like you're getting the love and support that you need um this is something where you feel comfortable at home around the people in your inner circle what is the challenge here and we have the sun, seeing things positive, the angel of happiness. So this coming out in the challenge position does not lessen that that it makes the whole reading positive. So this is about really getting into that vibration of things that bring you joy, things that um, fulfill you, that keep you positive, that keep you in the light. What is the advice from spirit here? And you have the two of swords, uncertainty. So what I'm getting from this is that you're not seeing necessarily the need um, that you have for 
um, playtime, for just enjoyment, finding joy. And I feel like you're not seeing that and it's making decisions in your life sometimes seem, um, seem like they're competing for your attention. What is the outcome here? And we have the Ace of Cups. Self-love, self-love, self-love. That's what I'm getting here. Starting with yourself first, and then you're able to fortify your cup with others. But this is, oh wow, we have the lovers at the bottom of the deck. So you may definitely be meeting somebody new. This could be a Libra or a Leo, doesn't have to be. But I definitely feel like there is new love coming in here or a new... Um, rejuvenation to the current relationship that you're in but let's get some more details here so clarify that justice card for me we have the princess of gems the page of pentacles the ingenu so it definitely feels like there's an opportunity here this could be you know even someone apologizing or making things right show me the three of cups and we have the five of gems, the five of pentacles, anxiety. You've been feeling like you don't have the love and support you need, but you do. And so it's it's about allowing those people that are around you to love and support you. This has been giving you anxiety, worries, um, sleepless nights. Show me the sun in the challenge position. And we have the Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Gems. Protection. You do have the protection. You have the protection for a long-term relationship. You have, um, you have blessings when it comes to your finances. Show me this Two of Swords. And we have the Three of Pentacles. So all this Pentacles energy is really, this is all you, right? So I do feel like this is about working together, understanding that you're on the same team together and really coming together, putting all your, putting everything you have together so that it can be shared with your family, with your friends, with your community. Show me this Ace of Cups. And we have the tower. So this is tearing down beliefs about yourself, beliefs about love, about opening up your heart to others. And you got the lovers at the bottom of this deck too. So that's double the lovers here. So I definitely feel like prioritizing your relationship and your own self-care, self-love is going to it's going to cause a breakthrough in this relationship. All right, what is the guidance here? What guidance do we have? And we have hidden emotions. Yeah, having the courage to actually show your romantic feelings here. Karmic partner. So I feel like even if you, this has been a karmic partner, you're moving on to a new cycle within this relationship. We have dark night of the soul. So you may have been going through that and that can really deplete you. So this replenish card is definitely in order here. What else? Isolation. You felt like you've been alone even with those around you. Life-changing decision. I feel like this is a decision to give this another chance and really um, take some time out with each other. And that's what's going to refuel and um, reignite this relationship family concerns let that let that all fall away you are protected here take control i don't think that you have a problem taking control but maybe you have given that up and i feel like that's part of your personality i feel like you know what boundaries to uphold within yourself and you know which boundaries you can't Cross, but taking control is part of who you are. 
unexpected message. Okay, that could come from anybody if it's unexpected. Inner child healing. And I got that with this here. There's a little child riding on this tiger. And I feel like with the sun card as well, this is all about being able to really find the joy in things again. The bottom of the deck, positive change is coming. So I feel like signs from nature. I feel like the weather may be where you get a sign that really triggers this tower moment that's breakthrough in how you feel about this relationship. Yep, that's what I'm getting. So you may be dealing with a Gemini. You could be dealing with an Aries, a Scorpio. Um, we have Libra and Leo here, but it doesn't have to be. All right, those are the messages that came through for you. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. Please, please, please subscribe. And remember, the universe has your back, and so do I. Take care.